Hey K-Poppers and welcome back to How Are You? It's time to kick off round 3 in our quest to decide who the best modern K-Pop group is. Round 2 saw intense battles with over 600 votes cast and now we're down to just 8 boy groups and 8 girl groups who have survived. Before we get started, a quick thank you to Hallyu's honorary producers. Hallyu's patrons get to show off their bias group right here in every video, they get to have their say in future videos and projects on the channel, and they get access to the official Hallyu Discord server where they can chat about K-pop and even listen to it together. So if you want to leave your mark on Hallyu and be a part of our growing community, come join us over on Patreon. So like last week, we're going to jump into the round 3 matchups right away, and then I'll go over the voting results from round 2 and point out just how close those races were. And now that we're down to just 8 groups on each side, these matchups will be just 2 groups going head to head, so now it's first place or go home. First up we have boys quarterfinal number 1, and the challengers are... BTS. <laughs> Stray Kids. Up next is Boys Quarterfinal 2, and the challengers are. GOT7. The Boys. Next is Boys Quarterfinal 3, and the challengers are. 17. Tomorrow by Together. And the last matchup on the boys' side is boys' quarterfinal four, and the challengers are. ATs. Monster X. And now over to the girl side, starting with girls quarterfinal number one. And the challengers are Eyes One. La, 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 yeah, yeah, Red Velvet. <laughs> Next up is girls quarterfinal number two, and the challengers are Oh My Girl. Secret number. And next is girls quarterfinal three, and the challenges are Itzy. Twice. And our final matchup on the girls' side is girls quarterfinal four, and the challenges are. Dreamcatcher. Mamamoo. Alright, now let's take a look at those round two results. Starting with the voice side, let's talk about Group B. This was the race I shared on the community tab, which at the time only had one vote separating in Hypen and the boys. And as you can see, the final results were only separated by two votes. In Group D, Tomorrow by Together and 17 breezed their way through to the boys' quarterfinals, and how about Group A? BTS did not come in first place. It'll be very interesting to see how these results change when you can only pick one group in a head-to-head -head matchup. Now over to the girls' side, where in Group A it was a tight race for the number 2 spot to advance between Eyes1 and Luna all week long, with Eyes1 squeaking out the victory in the end. Group B saw a similar situation where Oh My Girl was the clear favorite, but a close race between April and Secret Number ended with Secret Number taking the number 2 spot. In Group C, the JYP girls dominated the group, and in Group D we had a very close 4-way race much like we did in Boys Group D, with Dreamcatcher and Mamamoo advancing. As we start Round 3, it's do or die now. Every group is in a duel and you need to decide who will advance on each side of the tournament. Just like last time, links for Round 3 voting and the updated bracket are now in the description, the pinned comment, and on the community tab, so go get voting and tell your friends to vote too. The battles are so contentious and these remaining groups will need every single vote that they can get to get one step closer to being the best modern K-pop group. And in case you want a sneak peek of the bracket right away, here it is. Feel free to pause and check it out of course. How are your predictions doing after two rounds? 
Here's a quick look at my predictions with some green and red overlay based on if I was right or wrong about the prediction. I'm still doing better than random 50-50 guessing, but not by much. I've guessed 10 out of the 16 groups that are left. As always, thank you so much for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss voting in every single round as it plays out right here at Halleyu.